Hello, everybody. This is Tommy Viper, and we are playing the Home Safety Hotline today. So that means we're going to work today. That's exactly what everybody wants to do. So let's fire it up and uh, start our day. Day one. This should be easy enough. Usually they let you slide by and not do much on the first day. Clock in. Here we go. Uh, boink. Clocking in. That must be my time card. Looks like I'm having a hard time putting in the slot, though. Ooh. Bees. Ooh, they're mad. Hmm. Black mold. Whoop, here we go. Already getting a call. Home Safety Hotline, this is Tommy Viper speaking. Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, new employee. My name is Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. I thought I could just sit back and relax and do nothing. Answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard, and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Oh, thank you very much. I am so honored to be here. Well, this promises to be fun and exciting. Let's see old carpenter ants. Those look fun. And noisy, too. Uh-oh. Phone call. Home safety hotline. This is Tommy Viper speaking. John here. My wife insisted I call this number. Smart lady. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coughing to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. Well, how am I supposed to see over the telephone? I'll put you on hold. Hmm. Now, let's see. Um. So many things to choose from. House spider? Yep, that looks like the problem. It's gotta be a house spider. But then, well, let's see. Yeah, that's what we're gonna go with. House spider. There we go. Hope this helps. Hmm. Okay, so. Yeah, this ain't too hard. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, termites, ticks. Ooh. Those don't look good. Peeling paint, small holes in the drywall, or squeaky floorboards. Ticks. Ooh. Yeah, I'd like a couple of those, probably. Oh, here we go. Hello? How can I help you? Hank here. Last week I called your guys about some crap in my yard, and I was told it wasn't anything to worry about. Well, guess oh. what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. You better well, has anybody you told you that after your dog leaves its calling card there. in the front yard Tell that you're supposed to clean up after it or it accumulates? I mean, you'd think it would be common sense, but we'll see what we can find. Okay, let's see here. Hmm. Ooh. This could be a tough one. How about bees? Oh, yeah. That, 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 yep, that's it. You got a problem with bees. Hmm. Man, it feels good to just help the public and know that you're making a difference. Oh, so, what else do we got here? Black mold. That don't look good. Uh, busy morning. Yes? It's in my bedroom right now. It's watching me. I, I think it wants something from me. It's coming closer. It's coming Oh, my. Huh. 
Well, I bet you it was carpenter ants, to be honest. Hmm, housefly. Ooh, they're buzzing. Uh-oh, another call. Yes? Well, then what are you bugging me for? Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like... E e e e you know? It, it's probably nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, but... I just well, that's what you're supposed to sleep with the television on at night so you don't hear these things. Alright, put you on hold here. Hmm, let's see, what could it be? Kind of a tough one. Um, hmm. Would it be black mold? Yeah, that's definitely it. That's definitely your problem. Black mold. You know, black mold can get pretty loud after a while. And another satisfied customer. I tell you, as many people as I'm helping so far, I should be getting a raise in no time. Oh, what else do we got at my disposal here? Hmm. So many inaccessible ones, though. Hello, this is Home Safety Hotline. What the heck? Probably nothing. Well, if you called 5,500 times, why do you think that calling the next time is going to change anything? Maybe if you laid off the booze and didn't sound like you were half pie eyed. Hmm, cockroaches. Ooh, yeah, those are unpleasant. Here we go again. Hello? Hey, do you guys have a lawn mowing service or something? My good for nothing kid refuses to mow and it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a rainforest over here. My kid is complaining about being. Well, I tell you, if I looked like you, mowing my grass would be the last worry on my mind. Well, we'll see. Let's let's put you on hold and we'll see what we can do here. Hmm. So, mice. Moles. Hmm. Termites. Yep, without a doubt. This is absolutely the solution to your problem. You have mice. Hopefully this helps you. Okay. Be another five seconds before I get another call. Say I told ya. Home safety hotline. I don't think so. Are you sure it was a family of mice or was it a family of black mold? I mean, you know, black mold can get pretty noisy, especially when you leave it alone for a while. Oh, yay! My shift has ended. Accuracy zero. Well, that's not right. I know without a doubt that I answered everything correctly. I gave 110% here. Oh well. Clocking out for the day. Woohoo! Day two on the job. Let's see what kind of fun and exciting times is going to wait for us today.
and what kind of nut jobs we're gonna get on the telephone. Oop, first we gotta clock in. Three o'clock. I bet you I'm either very late or very early. Hmm. Now we just play the waiting game. Ooh. Almost sounds musical. Hmm. Ah, here we go. First call. Yellow. Hello. It's Carol again, your supervisor. I'm calling to let you know that you have been granted Hi, boss. to additional household hazard information. <gasps> oh, yay! And not to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. If you diagnose one of the will be providing only information but I like to blab to things. pertinent to addressing their concerns. Nothing more. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Ooh, look, we got new things here. Let's see. Oh, why? Oh, don't even have time to look. Hello. Hey, dear. That's strike two with you people. First you tell me there's nothing, then you send me the wrong information. I did what your info package said to do, and now there's even more critters in my yard. I don't think you followed now. it exactly. They want me to... They want me to... Climb inside the tunnel. I must Ooh. go inside. I must pay for my sins. Hmm. Okay, you just do you, and I'm not going to worry about it. I'm sure it's fine. Mm, let's see. All these fun things. Oh, here we go. Hello. Do you guys handle security? I need home security Dan. That certainly doesn't look like the Dan that I know. Um, my name's not Bob, so I don't know why you're calling me Bob. Oh, uh, let's see. House fires. Hmm. You know what? That sounds logical. You're suffering from house fires. Boink. I hope he loves the information I sent him. Oh. Yes. John here again. I got Hi, John. Oh, I like beef. Gave me bad info. What you sent us didn't have anything to do with our problem. I'll oh, well, that's Jonathan just too bad. To be bothered, Colin. Oh, well, actually, that's okay because then I get paid for sitting here and doing nothing. So go ahead, tell everybody. I don't care. Oh, home safety hotline. This is Tommy Viper speaking. Uh, uh, sorry. Well, that's to you too. Uh, calling to see if you might know about anything I can do to. <laughs> I don't know anything about. <laughs> uh, anything you can do to uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house. I Close your windows. Stop sneezing. Uh, in the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Well, maybe if you closed your mouth, Please you wouldn't be breathing it in. Yeah, let's just take a look and see what we got here. Ah, oh, feast. Ooh. Interesting. I don't think it's this, though. Let's see, what else do we got? Ooh, frozen pipes. You know what? I think that's what the problem is. You have frozen pipes. Better thaw them out, otherwise you're not going to breathe ever again. Hmm. Yeah, 
That's definitely what his problem was. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that helps him. I, you know, I don't want to. Uh, wood secretion stair slug. Desk hob. Common hob. Tommy Viper speaking. How can I help you? Do you know if there's such a thing as house thieves that clean? Like, maybe to disguise the robbery? At night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but when I go look at it, I find the place spotless. But haven't yet found anything missing. Hmm. I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. So here I am. Well, let's just see what we can do for you. Please mm. hold it. Oh, so I think, yep, it's carbon monoxide. That pesky carbon monoxide always leaves your house spotless. I mean, to be honest, you should just make friends with it and not even worry about it. It's totally not even dangerous. See, that looks friendly enough. Hmm, I didn't know carbon monoxide actually had a sound. You learn something new every day, I guess. Oh boy, here we go. Yes. <laughs> hey, yeah, you back brain sent me some info when I was asking for some lawn care. Do, do I look like a landscaper to you? <laughs> you actually sound like you look. Thanks for nothing, jerk. Yeah, you're welcome. That was easy enough. Oh, let's look at all these things. Who knew that there were so many household hazards? Like a lamp sprite. What the heck? Here we go. Yes. Hey, yeah, name's Fred Pinball. I'm calling the logic complaint. Fred it's Pinball? I have never seen such a big old mess left behind. Wow, no, 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 no. Tons of twigs, sticks, and pebbles. So I ain't putting up with it no more. Well, okay. I saw dust coming out of my drawers. I had to grab you by the goober and smack you around till next Sunday. <laughs> oh, what you gonna do? Come at me, bro. What you gonna do to make this right? Absolutely nothing. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Oh, we can't even submit any information to you. I guess we're doing nothing. Oh, ooh, stair slog. Oh. Yeah, I've had a couple of those in my day. Oh, boy. Tommy Viper speaking. How can I help you? Oh, hello to you, too. Ah, now just back to playing around here. Hmm. False beat? So many things. Well, at least nobody's bugging me. Oh, spoke too soon. Tommy Viper speaking. How may I help you? Ugh, that info you sent me was useless. These cleaning crooks are still breaking into my house and taking who knows what. The cops won't help, and you're useless. So thanks for nothing. Oh, I can't help that the carbon monoxide isn't helping you out. I mean, what do you honestly expect me to do? Hold its hand for you? Wood secretions. Oh. Yellow, Tommy Viper speaking. It wasn't Bob from accounting. It wasn't Bob at all. I saw it scurry away. Why didn't you warn me? What is this nonsense info you sent me? Why is it growing bigger? Get away! Stay back! Goodness gracious. Well, typically when you have a house fire, you're supposed to run away from it, otherwise it does grow bigger. 
Now let's see. What's secretions? <gasps> what? Hello, employee. Supervisor Carol here, letting you know that your trial employment period here has ended. Thank God. Remember that all you have seen here is strictly confidential. Nobody likes the information I gave them. What you have learned here today. Our eyes rest upon me. What the heck? We hope to work with you again soon. Well, we'll see about that. Bet you probably have a problem with termites. So, really, to be honest, I think I did a pretty good job here. And I'm absolutely positive that my advice did not lead to the death of anybody. And if they happen to perish, it's most likely because they don't know how to follow instructions. And this is because my advice was spot on and to the point. I mean, honestly, who wouldn't trust carbon monoxide to be in every aspect of your life? That's a very trustworthy friend. Please hold. Hmm. Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, new employee. Oh, thank you very much. Anyway, that was Home Safety Hotline, the demo version. Hope you enjoyed it. I may play the full version when it comes out. Until then, take care. And I'll see you again soon.